the call came in. Would I would I cook something up, bring a dish over? I thought what I would go ahead and do is these right here. You call them porcupines. I'm gonna show you how to make them. And as far as the music for the week, just go ahead and imagine Linda Ronstadt, Mohammed's. She does the better version of. Mohammed's radio. Go ahead, look it up, listen to it. Uh, leave a comment. But you see what I got right there? Two, four, six, and just a little throw in right there. Six porcupine patties, and I browned them on both sides. And what I'm going to do is pour these right here. Is it's whatever tomatoes was on sale at the store. I'm sure. It's that Tex-Mex style. I'm just going to pour that right on top right there. And I'm going to put this back on the stove and simmer it. And I may, I may, uh, I'm going to simmer that. It looks pretty good like it is. I'm going to show you how to make them. I've got that on a simmer. And we're going to make these, we're going to make these porky pine patties. And what I've got here is, uh, it's long grain rice, done already cooked and fluffed up there. This is actually a really, really, really cheap dish. Uh, you could, the, the more people that's coming to your house, the more people that's coming is the more rice you put in. If you've just got a very few people coming by, you, you, you don't put much rice in there. If you got a whole lot of people coming by, you put, and this is the only way to do it. This is the only way to do it. Just get right in there. You want to get like two heaping spoonfuls of rice worked into a, I'm going to call it a large golf ball size, uh, and just make it into a patty form similar to that. That's good enough right there. That's great. And I'm going, I need actually, actually I need 12. So just, by luck, the neighbor across the ways, she had laid in this hamburger. It wouldn't have been enough for uh, for 12 patties had I not happened to have the... I had that rice laid in uh, for something else, maybe a rice pudding. And this right here, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and let y'all pencil it in as a... Uh, I'm going to make some cornbread. I just had that idea immediately. We're going to throw a cornbread in here. Uh, maybe even a green vegetable. Uh, I'm going to present it as a holiday dinner layout. It's alternative to turkey. You know, that turkey's overrated anyway. I mean, a turkey's alright, but you know, once, once you get past a large, a, a very large uh, roasting hen, a, uh, I'm going to say an old rooster. I mean, you, you have to cook them a little extra, but an old rooster eats pretty good. Actually, I could cook up an old rooster, and you would know it from a, a, young, a, a young bacon chicken. Farm-raised, no less. Ever how much hamburger that you have is how many of these you make. And I needed 12, so... I actually had to put a little extra rice in there. Not much. Well, yes, I did. I like it a little on the grainy side, anyways. And another, and I do. I just elected not to do it this time. It was one vote against it. I usually put a chopped onion in it, but I didn't have no onion. I am gonna put some garlic in there. Some of that minced garlic. We we're gonna have some rice left, and I may. Uh, just to make it go a little bit further, I think what I'll do is the rice that's left, I'm just going to put it right on top of them tomatoes. I'm going to have to have more tomatoes. And that's another thing too, if you, let's say you have an abundance of tomatoes, then you can go a little heavy on the tomatoes. It just makes it better. And you all see that sizzling away right there, them porcupines in that tomato sauce. I'm going to put some garlic in there. And then I've got some, uh, that's macaroni right there. I'm going to make some macaroni and cheese. 
you know, you can't go wrong. I mean, it's 33 cents a box over there when it's on sale. Now I got them two pans right down there. I'm going to put that homemade cornbread. We're going to get her in there. Yeah, that's going to be good. We'll get this out of the way. This is that. It's uh, elbow macaroni. You get it in a box. Cost you about 50 cents or so. You, uh, I mean, it's good for you, they say. Macaroni. And I cook this up and let it sit on the stove for a little bit over there. Oh, this is really good. And and I and I put some butter in yonder. Uh, a whole, a lot of it. Maybe I have one of them there. Uh, a half a quarter I put in there of butter. One of those sticks. One half of those. And this is uh, this comes in the box right here. You you uh, uh, this is pretty good. You have to put a little bit of milk in there. About like that. You stir this up. Macaroni and cheese. It'll get you by in the pink. The color goes good with the fall holidays. Let, I, this is going to sit on the sideboard while I get that cornbread in the oven. I, I always bake two things of cornbread, two cast iron skillets. And you, what you do, you put you some oil in there like that right there. Uh, most of the time, uh, you just well to go in and put too much on the get go. You put that oil in there, put this in the oven, preheating. 450 degrees. We're talking hot now. And while, while we're preheating them there skillets, we'll make the batter. And while I was over yonder to the store, I got this year minced up garlic. It's pretty good. You get it in the big jar, it's kind of cheap. It's that buttermilk corn mix. And you put some in the pan, just going on our side. Did you see how much I put in there? Uh, I'm going to put a little more. That's not enough. Okay. That's not too much. You put your cornmeal in there. On this occasion right here, let's make garlic cornbread. Oh, it's going to be good. You see about how much I got there? Let's put some more in there. Okay. We have to put some milk in there, too. I'm going to say about that much, and oil. This is how simple it is to make some cornbread. We pretty much got this ready to go. Just a little stirring until it's 100% stirred together. You, you just use your common sense, and if the batter is entirely too thin, then put you a little bit more cornmeal in there. Stiffen it up a little bit. The same thing goes if your batter is too stiff, put a little water in it. Put a little milk in there. I suggest you use that room temperature ice myself. Uh, that's pretty good. You see about what that is right there? It's, uh, it's a little bit, well, that's good. Whatever that is, that's what you're shooting for. It, the skillets is heating up. They're not hot enough yet, so it's well worth the time to wait to get them hot enough. Okay, you all see them skillets there? They about 400, they about 425 degrees hot, 450. They've been in the oven preheating. You all see how that sizzles around the edge right there? That sizzle right there is so that the bread won't stick. You want your skillet to be good and hot. We're going to put that in the oven and bake it about 400 degrees for about 10 minutes. Be good to go. And this is the second pan of the uh, porcupines. And on this six here, I put one spoonful of that garlic minced garlic. I put one spoonful on each patty. I did not do that on the other one. That way after the meal, I'm sure there will be a discussion. One person will say, wow that garlic flavor was really good. And the person sitting next to them won't have no idea because they had, didn't have no garlic. I'm going to enter 
this dish in as this meal. I'm going to enter this meal in as an alternative. Hey, y'all listen up. I'm going to enter this meal in as an alternative from the traditional turkey dinner around Thanksgiving to Christmas especially. This is the alternative. Y'all see that cornbread yonder? I turned it over about halfway. Oh yeah. And see it didn't stick? Ain't nothing stuck in there. I'll dust that out. About 10 minutes in the oven, yonder. Oh yeah. See there? That's the way your cast iron is supposed to do. Your cast iron don't do like that. You're going to have to work with it. This is the my entry in the traditional. You might say it's a little crumbly on top, but let me just go ahead and ask. The last time you got a piece of cornbread and it was all one big old chunk, you got it over yonder, toted it over here, and it still was one big old chunk. It was like a piece of rubber. When you, this, this cornbread here is so light and delicate, I didn't use no egg. The bread, this is hot now. This is, this is just my entry for the alternative meal for the holiday season. These are porcupines. This is truly an old. This is truly an old family recipe right here. This recipe comes from way back in there. We got one more there. Let's get her on there. Oh yeah. You know that's a little bit much, but. Oh, that's, that's just, uh, and just a ladle. This right here is them, this first time I ever had these tomato stuff right here. That's the first time I ever had them. I'm going, I'm going to get some more. I even like the way they look. You put that right on there like that? Oh, yeah. Okay. And we got them, oh, I can't, I have to move that. The way you would serve this dish is you would put you put two portions and you put the two portions on this on the plate. This will be in the center of the table. It's warm, it's hot. I'm gonna get it over there. That leaves us with the additional serving and the the starch would be kind of like that and we would have the green peas Heavy on the broth. It's also just a great way to serve a beautiful alternative to the turkey. The uh, green pea soup, cornbread at will. And you can, I will just give you a little you get you one of them cornbreads like that right there and you dunk it in that pea juice. Now I'm not going to be eating this right here because I got to tote this. this. This was a to-go order I, and I just wanted to present it here to the world as an alternative with a glass of milk for sure. Do not forget that you do have an alternative alternative do not forget you do have an alternative for your Thanksgiving dinner oh I would be a miss 
if I did not serve cornbread, if I did not slice a piece of that cornbread, okay? Oh yeah. It's a to-go order. I'll report back next week if it was okay. Just observe cast iron cornbread homemade recipe. From the east coast of Arkansas, happy holidays to one and all.